Welcome to Will It Work? I'm Kevin. Uh, today we're looking at TV baseball from Epoch. Uh, plug and play TV games have existed since the beginning of video gaming, basically, with these Pong systems that take batteries and you can plug them into your TV and start playing. And uh, they've never really stopped. We have them today. We've looked at many of those Jack specific ones from the mid 2000s. We looked at more recent ones with HDMI uh, dongle type systems. And it'll go on and on because um, they're relatively cheap to produce and uh, you know you can load them down with games and uh, you know from a prior era and have a very quick and cheap um, experience on uh, any TV you know that you may be near. Uh, <clears throat> with the uh, some of these early systems that came out um, when people were going to cartridge based uh, format uh, some people continue to want to sell uh, dedicated systems and uh, novelty ones like this where you have sort of a spinner here for um, probably swinging the bat is my guess and then uh, another button here maybe you know to uh, catch the ball or maybe this is used for the pitch to move the ball around and this is used for the bat to hit the ball um, there's a couple other buttons etc I don't know we haven't never tried it but um, you know it's um, fairly uncommon system probably rare uh, you don't see this all the time Epoch TV baseball uh, it's from Japan so you know that's probably why uh, you know they also have a more common one that's out there called TV Vader uh, that was I don't know if it's by Epoch probably was um, that was basically like a dedicated Space Invader system I don't own one but maybe at some point I'll pick one up if I find a price that's reasonable for it. Um, so where I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this one up. I'm guessing it's probably going to be on channel 95 and if I can get a stable signal out of it and everything uh, we'll, um, we'll take a look at it on the video side and if I don't well just assume that uh, you know I didn't get a signal out of it and uh, we'll move on to the next video but uh, Epoch TV Baseball let's find out what it's all about. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to play with this a little bit more and see if I can get the uh, screen in a little bit better with this Epoch TV baseball. But uh, since I have it sort of stable right now and I don't want to make it worse, I thought I would at least show you uh, how it is. It's running on four D cell batteries at the moment. It might be a little bit different when I um, try to plug in an adapter. Uh, if I use the dial on the top, I can move the top row of players uh, left and right uh, probably maybe uh, use that to catch the ball as well. Um, uh, there's a series of three other buttons. I'm pretty sure the one above the power switch is some sort of reset. And then there's the handheld unit. Uh, but I'm not quite sure how to pitch the ball. Um, that's not doing anything. Let's try this reset button. All right, okay. That's not doing anything. Well, there could be something on the base of the screen that I can't see or, or possibly something else. My guess is it's also in colors uh, since it is on the box. It's just that the signal is kind of weak right here. So reset. I can move the players around. Whee! And then there's these five numbers here. know with stuff back in the day. That doesn't do anything. I don't even see a batter, to be honest. Um, okay. It's not doing anything for us. Two buttons at the same time. Nothing. It's not doing anything. Oh, now, now I can see it swinging. Okay, I can swing. So 
Okay, the batter is definitely the remote unit. I can swing the thing. Now, how do I throw the ball? try and uh, clean up the signal and see if I can get something out of this but um, it definitely works but I'm not convinced that all of it works yet uh, so let me let me take it with it some more we'll see if we can get more out of it if not yeah that's all there is okay with the epoch TV baseball I had to open it up and uh, mess with one of the switches anyway uh, the problem was is it wasn't serving I can reset the game and I can swing the bat as you can see on the bottom with the left control uh, and I can move the top players around um, with the dial in order to catch the ball but the um, uh, the actual uh, mechanics of the pitch uh, the button wasn't good so I unsoldered the button and took it apart and brushed it off and reset it and I think it works okay now so I'm gonna pitch the ball here back everything I just said so I'm not quite sure I think I have to hit this reset yeah and then I can pitch so the buttons okay it's just that it's a weird kind of thing so there was me hitting the ball and me out again oh my god I keep doing the same thing over and over again Oh, shit. That was quick. Okay, the fastball button's a little bit stuck. That's not the one I fixed, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. Was that a home run? I couldn't even tell what that was. I think that's like two points. That's an out. That's a strike. That's an out. Three outs. Strike. That's an out. Fastball, hard to hit the fastball even when I'm the one serving it. Jesus. There we go. <laughs> so anyway, TV Sports Baseball. Now you notice it's not in color. You're not hearing any sound. It, that's just because, you know, we're not on a Japanese TV. Uh, but... Um, you know, it, it, uh, it's a, basically a hack to get these things to even work uh, normally on something like this. Um, I think if I plug in the red wire, we'll just hear static. Yeah, so we don't need that. But anyway, uh, this works. It's like one of these really old systems. It needs, you know, some a little bit of TLC, but it's definitely functioning and plays a game. Uh, that it was designed to do. It is so weird that they made something like this, you know, that you could sit and play a, a sort of a strange game of baseball. And, um, of course, it would be nice if we could see it in color and everything, but, um, you know, classic system from a different country in a different time, uh, 20 years after, like, the end of World War II. It's, uh, it's something. Thanks for watching, and, uh, you know, we'll see you on the next video with something new.